given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on April 4th, 1975, in Mayapur, India. <laughs> Khoni Varta Jat Kala Sopi Ananta Stang Sri Nityananda Ramam Prabhuddhi. So, uh, all these Vishnu descriptions <coughs> beginning from uh, Karana Dokshai, uh, Mahavishnu, who is producing universes. Then next Vishnu is Garbhodaksai means the same Mahavishnu entering in each and every universe. <coughs> then again the same Vishnu for maintenance of this material world is lying on the kirabdi, uh, ocean of milk, and the same Vishnu, kirabdi Sai Vishnu, is maintaining not only this universal affair, but also he is entering in each and every living being's heart, uh, even within the atom. This is the expansion of Vishnu Tattva. Uh, Vishnu Tattva within this material world. So just imagine for creating, maintaining, sustaining, the whole material world uh, is a network of Vishnu's activities. And some rascals say there was chunk and there was creation. His creation is so easy and maintain them all the creation. Uh, if you create some center of our Krishna consciousness movement, how much strain you have to exert to maintain the standard status quo. Similarly, there are so many universes created, maintained, and there is another phase, annihilation. That is the process of material creation. We have got experience. Anything material is created, is the beginning, there is a date, and it is maintained for some time, then it is annihilated. Anything you take, this is a body, your body, my body, it is created at a certain date and it is maintained for a certain num number of years and again it is annihilated. This is material world. Bhutta bhutta praliyate. Uh, it manifests sometimes and again disappears. Uh, this is called material world. And because it is never eternally sustained, uh, therefore it is called māyā. It is not false. As the Mahāvādi philosopher says, it is false. It is not false. Lord Vishnu is taking so much care to create this material world, how you can say it is false? It is 
is not false. It is fact, but it is temporary. This is the difference between the material world and the spiritual world. In the spiritual world there is no creation and no destruction. In the material world uh, there is creation and destruction. Now, uh, we being part and parcel of Vishnu, Krishna, Krishna says personally, Mamai Vāṅsa, so if Krishna is not affected by this creation and annihilation, uh, then we being part and parcel of Krishna, why we should be affected by this creation and annihilation. Uh, we are very much afraid of being annihilated. And we are trying to discover many scientific, so-called scientific methods, how we may not be destroyed. Uh, why this uh, inclination? that we may not be destroyed uh, because we are part and parcel of Krishna. Therefore, eternity of life is our aspiration. That is the proof that we as Krishna is eternal. Similarly, we are also eternal, but circumstantially uh, we are now put into this material world. Therefore our main business is how to uh, revive our original position and not to be annihilated, never annihilated. Uh, it is clearly said in the Bhagavad Gita, actually we are not annihilated. Na hannate hannamane sarire nitta sāsatayaṁ So, that is our real business. This requires little intelligence. Uh, that we are eternal. Why we are put into this process of taking birth and death? Krishna also says, this is the real misery of life. Janma metu jarabhyadhi dukkha dushanu darshan. They are trying, the so-called scientists trying to increase. Uh, if the scientist sees that the, a man was to die immediately, now he has lived one hour more, he thinks that his science is successful. Uh, that is their foolishness. If you live one or two hours more or one year or two years more, uh, in Allahabad, we had a friend who was a very rich man. So he was on the dying stage. So he had many big, big doctors were attending, and he was begging to the doctors, Doctor, can you not give me at least four years' time? I could finish what I have already attempted. Uh, so here we know the death is certain. Still we make some scheme, big or small, according to idea. But we do not know that at any moment <coughs> death will come as sure as death. And this death is Krishna. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, mṛttu sarva harascha aham. Uh, that is Krishna's mercy. Repeatedly we are taking birth and making big, big scheme, and we may be successful, but at any moment Krishna says, now you get out. 
and your all business finished, and whatever you have done, that is also finished. Uh, or I will take it away. Just to teach us that this place, material world, is not our place. Uh, that is our misconception or maya, that we want to make a permanent settlement in this material world, which is uh, not possible at all. Uh, this knowledge they do not come. Uh, the scientists are thinking of uh, making life eternal, immortal, like the Hiranyakasipu scheme, that he wanted to be mortal uh, by tapasya. This is also tapasya. There are so many scientific endeavors. This is also tapasya. But this tapasya is useless. It has no effect. Uh, they are trying foolishly to become immortal. That requires tapasya. Many, many demons, the demons do like that. Tapasya, what living ever. But they will not take the real method of tapasya to purify. Uh, their real aim is this material world, and here they want to become immortal. Uh, that is their foolishness. Here nobody can become immortal. Even Brahma, who is the creator of this universe, he is also not immortal. But they are trying to be immortal here. Uh, that is not possible. Uh, Tapasya should be to become immortal Tapasya is recommended. Tapu dibbaṁ putruka jīna suddhita sattā. Tapasya should be made. Immortality is your right. Uh, because you are part and parcel of God, you are immortal. Now you are diseased. You are accepting birth and death. This is disease condition. Uh, so try to cure the disease. Don't try to become immortal in disease condition. That is not possible. Uh, you must cure this disease. Uh, if you simply imagine uh, to live eternally, uh, that is not possible. Mm, stop this children. Uh, Immortal is our goal of life, immortality. That is the goal of life. But they are not taking seriously how to become immortal. That is their ignorance. And so this how to become immortal, and there is process recommended in these hastras. That is in India. That is nowhere else. If you are actually serious about becoming immortal, then you should study the Vedic literatures uh, from India. Uh, that is Chaitanya Mahapuru's mission, uh, that in India there is a process how to become immortal. <coughs> Uh, so he recommended, therefore, he desired that Indians, you Indians, you have got the facility, don't spoil your life by imitating the so-called rascal scientists of the Western countries, but you take advantage of the science, spiritual science, which is in India, and distribute the knowledge, because they are in ignorance. Therefore he says, 
भारत भूमि मनुष्य जन्म हईल जा जन्म सार्थक करी करो पर दिसनेस दिस होल वर्ल्ड इज इन डार्कनेस डिमोनिक सीविलेशन एंड इंडिया देर इज रेमिडी सो इफ द इंडियंस टेक एडभांटेज एंड मेक हिज लाइफ परफेक्ट and then go to the western countries and distribute this immortal knowledge that is real business of india and fortunately uh, they are trying to imitate it mm-hmm. uh, there is no thing nothing to imitate uh, if you say that they have discovered so many material comforts uh, that is all right but with all your material comforts you cannot become immortal that is said that is said but you are uh, desiring how to become immortal that science is in india uh, that is tapasya uh, tapasya means uh, brahmacharjena tapasya brahmacharjena जमेन नियमेन वा त्यागेन श्रोत शौचभ्याम दिस इज शास्त्र इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न दैट सायंस हाउ टू बिकम इमोटल देन यू हैव टू अंडर गो ऑस्टेरिटीज दैट ऑस्टेरिटीज बिगिन्स विथ ब्रह्मचर्य तपसा ब्रह्मचर्य ब्रह्मचर्य मीन्स कंट्रोलिंग सेक्स लाइफ दैट इज रिक्वायर इफ यू कैन कंट्रोल सेक्स इम्पल्स बिकॉज दैट इज द मीडियम ऑफ बॉन्डेज हियर इन दिस मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड एवरी वन इज वर्किंग हार्ड टू एंजॉय सेक्स लाइफ दैट इज द main aim uh, main aim is and that you will find in your country especially very very prominent uh, in paris very very old men they are going to the club at night uh, simply this for the same purpose so this has to be control uh, control means mind and the senses and the prominent sense is sex that is called control so if you want to become immortal then you must practice this uh, of course uh, in western countries it is very difficult they say it is impossible big big man they say it is impossible yes it is impossible therefore shastra has given concession that uh, you require sex life but uh, enjoy it in married life but no illicit sex at least stop this uh, if you want to be immortal these things have to be followed no illicit sex no intoxication no meat eating no bad hmm. then you can think of it uh, immortality gradually uh, that is called tapasya tapasya brahmacharjena every shastra you find uh, at least at the end of life one should be uh, completely free from this bad habits that is called sannyas don't cheat accept sannyas and indulge in these things don't be cheater that is very bad sannyas means to take vow uh, in other station of life there may be we fall down but sannyas means no no fall down 
Therefore, uh, we have now taken very seriously unless one is found completely competent to accept sannyas. There is no more use of avoiding sannyas. So this is the process. Tapasā brahmacadjena. Brahmacadjena is very, very essential. And that is when one becomes detestful to sex life, that is the beginning of spiritual life. That is the beginning of spiritual life. So immortality is not very difficult thing. Simply one has to adopt the method, process as recommended in the śāstra and then you can become immortal. Krishna says, janma karma chama me dibbam jujana ti tattata tattata di hang punar janma naiti. Punar janma naiti, this is immortal. Krishna says, punar janma, no, no more punar janma. And if you have no punar janma, there is no punar death, punar badhaka or punar disease. Puna means again. So if you can stop your punar janma, no more taking bath, that is perfection. Therefore it is recommended that the guardians, namely the guru, spiritual master, the father, the mother, the king or the government, the whole system should be so centralized that people may be saved from this process of punarjanma. That is real government, real parenthood, real guruism. How to save the disciples or the citizens or the son, subordinate? They come to your shelter, just like these children have come to the shelter of father and mother. The disciples have come to the shelter of guru. The citizens are expecting good government, so they are subordinate, expecting protection from the superior. Therefore the whole scheme should be how to uh, protect them from repetition of death. Namo chayadaja samupeta mrittam. We are entangled by this process of birth, death, old age and disease. And it is the duty of the guru, duty of the father, duty of the mother, duty of the government, eh? how to save them from this process of birth, death, old age, and that is civilization. Otherwise it is dog civilization. What is the meaning? This is civilization. Ah. So a whole Vedic system is designed in such a way that ultimately one is saved from this process of birth, death, old age, and disease. Long, long ago, when Vishamitra Muni came to Maharaj Dasarath for begging Ram Lakshan to take them to the forest because one demon was disturbing, they could kill. But the killing business is for the Kshatriyas. Uh, this is Vedic civilization. It is not the business of the Brahman. Oh. Uh, so the first reception Vishamitra Muni got from Maharaj Dasara that Oihishtam Jad Punat Janmat Jayaya. You are you great sages, saintly persons, you, give, you have given up the society. You are living alone in the forest 
What is the purpose? Uh, the purpose is punarjanma jayaya, to conquer over repetition of birth. This is the purpose. Similarly, how are these? Krishna consciousness movement is also meant for the same purpose, punarjanma jaya for conquering over repetition of birth and death. You should always remember this. Uh, a little mistake uh, will spoil the whole scheme. Little mistake. Nature is very strong. Daivijjesa gunamai mamu māyā Very, very strong. Uh, so you all, boys and girls, those who have come from America, uh, I'm very much thankful to you, but don't be less serious. Be very serious. And another thing I request, <clears throat> especially to the Americans, uh, that uh, America has good potentiality to save the world. Hmm. So if you preach very nicely in your country, and not all of them will be interested, but if a section of men in your country, you can, you can turn them to become Krishna conscious, it will be great benefit to the whole world. Uh, but the aim is the same. Punajanma jayaya. To gain victory over this process of birth, death, and old age. This is not fiction, this is fact. People are not serious. Uh, but you can. Uh, teach your people, uh, otherwise the whole human society is at risk. They are like animals without any kind, especially this communist movement is very, very dangerous to make uh, big animals. Uh, they are already animals, and this movement is making uh, big animals. So I am speaking to America because America is a little serious against this communistic movement and it can be counteracted uh, because the process is current since a very, very long time. Diva Asura, Divasu, the fight between the demigods and the demons. So the same fight is there in different name, uh, communist and the capitalist. But the capitalists are also <laughs> 80 percent, 90 percent demons. <coughs> yeah. uh, because they do not know the science of God. That is demonic means. So there is good chance in your country to make them uh, or they rectify their demonic principles and then they will be very um, strongly able to fight with the other demons. Uh, because if we become uh, deva, deva means Vaishnava. Uh, Vishnu Bhakta Bhave Deva Asura Stad Viparja. Those who are devotees of Lord Vishnu, they are called Deva or demigods. And those who are just the opposite number. Uh, the opposite number also they have got some God. Just like the demons, they worship uh, especially Lord Shiva. Uh, or 
Ravana, the example, we are not accusing unnecessarily. Ravana was a great demon, but he was devotee. Worshipping Lord Shiva means to gain some material prop. And in the worshipping Vishnu, uh, uh, there is material profit that is given by Vishnu. Uh, that is not karma. Hmm. But Vaishnava, they are not uh, aspiring after any material profit. The material profit automatically comes. Uh, but then they do not desire onnavilasita sunnum. Uh, material profit is not their aim of life. Uh, their aim of life, how to satisfy Vishnu, Lord Vishnu, that is Vishnu. Vishnu asya devata, uh, nati, and the demands, they do not know that uh, to become Vishnu, that is the highest perfection of life. They do not know. It. Uh, so anyway, uh, our request is that you, all young men, who have taken to this path of Vaishnavism, and there is very good chance uh, to preach this cult in your country. So uh, even if you are not very much successful other, in other countries, in your country you will be very much successful. There is good potency and try to make them stronger <coughs> to fight with the demonic principles. Thank you very much.